Hey all, Gary here from uh, Gaz the K77. Um, this is my final video for the 2015 Cancer Awareness build. Um, completed the model today. Uh, if you've been following it along, you know I've been doing the uh, AMT 1969 Chevelle convertible, and um, yeah, I've got it done. Um, it's painted as in the box art colours, <clears throat> but it's got a black interior. I've painted it orange for leukemia. Um, this is um, in memory of um, workmate's dad, Terry, uh, who died of leukemia unfortunately a couple of years ago. So, um, yeah, no further ado, let's, uh, I like this box art, by the way, i just got to quickly say that these new boxes that Round 2 are doing for these AMT kits, really nice, might keep that box. Anyway, enough of the box, let's get the model. Um, okay, here we are, I'll bring it forward. <coughs> uh, there she is, guys, all done. Um, I wanted to put the uh, stripe down the body as in the uh, box art pictures um, but the decals disintegrated on me so uh, that was a bit of a mess up but um, again I think this video is going to show the car as being a kind of yellowy orange um, I'm going to put some photographs up on a slideshow hopefully at the end of the vid um, if I can manage to work out how to do that because I'm not very technically apt but I will try and see if I can work out how to do that and you can see the colour um, more for what it is, which is like a hugger orange. My my interpretation of hugger orange. So yeah, what can I say about the kit? Um, pain in the ass, um, typical AMT, um, issues, but I knew that. I knew that all along. It's an AMT kit. It's an old 70s kit, 60s kit, whatever it is. It's, it is what it is. You know, these kits, are um, they take a bit of fettling to get together. Uh, the biggest issue on this one was the... Uh, let's get a pointing stick. The biggest issue on this one was getting the bonnet to uh, sit flat. Unfortunately, it's got a slight warp on it. As you can see, it's slightly raised there, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, the wind shield, windscreen as we call it, uh, the fitment of that was an absolute pig. Um, oh, honestly, um, the model nearly launched across the room uh, because of that windscreen. Um, if I managed to get it stuck stuck on this edge, then it would spring on that edge. If I clamped it that edge, and I clamped this edge, it would spring that edge. Oh, and it was just probably two days. I went on trying to glue the screen. Eventually, I got it there it was a bit of epoxy glue, but epoxy resin glue. And the reason it's got a little um, AMT decal down here on the screen is because there's a slight glue mark. I always manage to do it. Every model I do has a glue mark on it, So, uh, but it's nicely disguised. Um, so, yeah, let's show you what we've done. I'll put it on this little whirly gig thing here. See, it might work. It might not. Let's try it. Is that going to work? Yeah, there you go. Let's shift it into the camera a bit more. Looks like he's working as well. So yeah, as you can see, we've got um, a hugger orange paint. Uh, the chrome works nice on this kit, I must admit, because obviously it's a newer reissue. Um, I think Round 2 pay a bit more attention to their chrome, um, which is quite nice. I went for the American mag wheels, and as you can see, they're like sort of gunmetal inserts on polished rims. Uh, it all comes with rally mag wheels and the... Um, Chevrolet rally wheels as well you can use with dog dish caps but um, I went for these I actually quite like these so I think this thing's going to run out of steam which has already oh, well, I'll have to hand turn it so uh, it's got the newer polyglass uh, GT tyres that AMT are doing in their kits now which are quite nice the rear bumper which is coming up now this is a missing link resin part with the tail lamps which is way, way more accurate than the one that comes in the kit. The one that comes in the kit is absolutely useless. Um, so uh, let's give you another view of that in a minute when it comes back round. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. It turned out okay for what it is. It's, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Old style kit. Um, underneath, um, yeah, we've just got just gone with a satin black floor pan. Uh, detail picked out some of the um, rear drivetrain, gloss black and the exhaust. Um, you know, I haven't gone overboard on it because it's just it's, a lot of it's moulded in detail. So, 
Um, let's get rid of that thing a minute. Interior is um, satin black. That's Tamiya satin black. Uh, we've got some chrome trim accents there. We're done with bare metal foil. Again, hopefully the photographs will show you a bit more detail than what I can show you in the vid. Um, I don't know if it's going to show at all, but we'll try. There you go. You can see a bit of it. You can see some of it. So yeah, that's looking okay. Um, I did say I was going to wire this one, and normally on every build I say, I think, yeah, I'm going to wire the engine on this one, and I never end up doing it. Well, I actually did do it on this one, funny enough. I use a Preston's car parts. Um, sorry about that, guys. Computer gremlins. Computer gremlins. Camera gremlins. Can you say it? Gremlins. Um, the video ran out. Sorry. So we'll uh, carry on where we left off. And I was going to say that I always say I'm going to wire an engine and I never do. Well, I did on this one. I use a Preston's car parts um, pre wire distributor. Which is um, in there, as you can see. Um, I changed the air cleaner. I don't know if I said that in the last video, but if I didn't, I'm saying it again. Changed the air cleaner because the SS396s had a chrome pancake type filter. Um, whereas in the kit, it comes with this big black affair. Um, but yeah, the spark plug, you know, they're not done in fire and order because um, this is, a, you know, I'm not going to win any contest with this thing. This is a, it's what I call a six footer, this model. It looks good from six foot away, get too close to it, and. Uh, you know, it's pretty crap, but um, <laughs> it's all right. You know, it's okay. I'm I'm pleased with it. It's um, it's it's displayable, and that's all about is and you know, I can't uh, grumble too much about the kit. It's okay. It's turned out to what my vision of it was, so that's pretty good. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that now. Uh, just a quick thank you for everyone that followed along on the video. And on my series of building, you know, this uh, Chevelle, um, much appreciated for that. Thank you very much for all the comments. I've tried replying to each and every one of you. I think I have. I do try and make the effort. And uh, thanks to the new subscribers. I had a couple more again uh, this week, which is nice. Um, it's Saturday evening, guys. So whatever you're doing for the weekend, have a good one. And um, probably the next update from me will be either a new kit or I might crack on and do the Colomigon Dodge 330 super stock because uh, that needs to be finished so uh, anyway guys like I said have a great weekend I shall be there's mine um, that is uh, not JD actually it's Jim Beam but who cares I'm not advertising um, right see you later guys cheers